Come on, your Facebook. It's been a, it's been a minute since I shoot a video. Um, I've been working a lot and uh, it's been hard lately to get in the garden as much as I want. But uh, I just wanna show you the minute uh, watermelon. It's a baby watermelon and uh, still getting some zucchini out of this plant and uh, the same with uh, this tomato is called indigo tomato it's uh it's kind of like a uh, little bigger than a cherry tomato and the peppers the squash the honey squash and uh the bell peppers this one is actually grow from some seeds that i throw and uh, I thought they were all cashew shell pepper, but they're not. So uh, my eggplant is still producing. It's funny because some are white and some are yellow. Um, I plant some uh, Peruvian black beans. They say they do really good in summer, so we'll see. Uh, my cherry tomatoes coming along. I plant another squash. This cherry tomatoes also are still producing. Look at my pink tongue. Uh, eggplants and uh, I also had the camu eggplant. I let it to grow so I can get some seeds from it. Uh, everything is growing pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna cut that guava tree because it's not producing and it kind of got stung. So we can use that real estate for something else. This is my gashisha peppers full of flowers. My uh, shaya that died completely in the winter, came back. Uh, this is my white guava, it's uh, full, completely full of guavas everywhere. Tomatoes are struggling with the heat and uh, something got it. I got some basils that volunteer. My rack of bananas and uh, I got some other racks of bananas uh, in the back. Uh, here is my other tomato struggling again with the heat. The cachucha pepper. The uh, shampoo ginger, my boniato is going crazy over there. I got some basil also. Uh, we got the asparagus in the back, and we got the, uh, goodness, I always forget the name of this. It's the one that I use for shop and drop. Say good morning to my new puppy, Nala. Nala! Hey! Uh, recently lost my my baby boy uh, Simba like three days ago and uh, we're going through the painful pain after 16 years for being our life is is a hard one but um, mm, something that I was expecting uh, but you never get ready for something like that and it's a decision that is really hard to make so uh, but he's in a better place and uh, we got Nala like two weeks ago um, I really think if I wouldn't get Nala hey mama you want to say hi to the camera all right she's a punchy like a Pomeranian Pomeranian Chihuahua uh, I wouldn't get her after what I went through on Tuesday when I had to put my boy to, to sleep. It was, it was really bad, so. Anyways, um, so I did some cleaning here yesterday. Actually, I did a lot of cleaning yesterday. I finally spent some time, so that's my uh, Arcan, Arcan Arch, oh, the blackberries, I always forget the name, but. They're supposed to fruit in the first cave. Right now, it's just going crazy. I haven't seen no fruit. Uh, this is my habanada peppers. It's full of peppers. And now that I clean everything around, it's doing so much better. I plant this um, kosho, or kosho uh, mango. Uh, this one, I cloned it for my mango tree over there. And uh, it got two mangoes. And mommy was driving me crazy, so. 
I point I put it in the ground and we'll see what, what, what it does. My fish are coming along really good. We've been eating figs for days now. This is still a little more house in here that I have to take care of it. But maybe today I can do some work on that. Um, as you can see, I did a huge cleaning yesterday. Nala, this is my Barbaro cherries that got really destroying winter is coming back strong it's my malika mango the rest of my figs this is a um, muscadine grape that i am planning to put in the ground pretty soon and see what i can do to let her climb or something like that that's boniato i mean that one is sweet potato katuk an avocado from sea a mango from sea this is my orange. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, this is just the label for the thing. What is the name? Okay, I don't see it. But this one is just the orange one. This one is a um. A sugar belly, this one, and uh, this one is dancing tangerines. They're getting uh, a lot of issues with those uh, leaf miners that really affect the citric. But I think I'm gonna keep the citrus in the in the containers because I struggle with them in the in the ground. This is my sugar loaf mango. Uh, I got some sugar canes that I have to take care of. Eventually get some. Uh, longevity spinach, my pomeranian over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, still waiting to harvest. Bernala, come on. This is my Brandon avocado. Uh, it's been slowly but prospering a little bit. This is more longevity spinach. I'm just letting this go everywhere. My loqua, my grapes, they finally. Uh, ripen kind of poor protection for the cardinals and the mockingbirds and squares as you can see those are everywhere um like i said i did a major cleaning <laughs> yesterday um come on that one is um always forget we call it cañita de la india in spanish um Ooh, lemongrass, lemongrass, there we go. And then uh, I transplant a couple of those bananas and uh, they, they're doing okay. It's been a little bit of drought. What are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, that one is my Gary Mango. Prospering, pretty good too. Uh, I did uh, this uh, avocado that is from sea. I got my main different bananas and moringa and everberry mulberry and i got also katut there in the middle yeah um this is my one avana and uh look at the rack of bananas guys it's coming literally on top of my jackfruit but can i complain Got some pineapples in the back. This is my other rack of bananas. It takes some time to develop, to be honest with you. Um, this is a pow pow tree in the back. One is covered, the other one I just let it be because it's not gonna make it. This is my rosemary and this is my, ooh, not the Fernand, the San Pablo Costa Apple. I planted it, it's been like a couple weeks now, and uh, it's doing really good. I got my Mauricio leashes over there, my pigeon peaks in the back, some pigeon pea here, some echinaceas, and this is my navel orange tree that struggling and I'm debating if I'm gonna get it out. So we'll see. This is my feeding for my little berries. 
This is my avocado. Fantastic avocado. I finally put it on the ground too, and uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, I have a shade it because they don't they don't do that good when they first plant it in like all that here of Florida. Uh, this is a um, actually that one is a Alfonso mango struggling. I bought it from Everglades and it's not looking that great, but I'm gonna give you all the attention that I can. This is the first child. Uh, mango. That one is a Julie and I got Barbara Sherry's and uh, Molly's. No, not Molly's. I got Nala. I got uh, Sapotillas in here. This is my Miami sour soap. I'm still have it inside, but I'm gonna get it outside today. Um, this is. Let me see, Hasia, Sabotilla, and then this one I think is Morena Sabotilla. I got some onions there. It's kind of like a madhouse. I got some asparagus and the tomatoes. Tomatoes, as you can see, are depleting with the heat, so I'm kind of cutting pieces, and uh, I, I will plant it again. Like, for example, you see, uh, when it has like a healthy one that I can take, I cut it and I plant it and they grow from that and then you don't have to wait for seeds. Here's my blueberries and my tomatoes that, like I said, struggling. This is my elderberry. Have flowers and fruits everywhere. The mockingbird loves them, so it's kind of hard to get to them. Come on, Nella. This is my garden here with the flowers. It's going crazy. Uh, I think I'm gonna plant my caimito in there. It's a uh, Hippolito caimito. It's a green one. Cause I got the Morado here from Lara Farms. They both from Lara Farms, from Julian Lara. He's, uh, he's the guru of a lot of tropicals. So if you ever want a fruit tree, is the man. Um, more echinacea. All these came out volunteer. The same with the, um, with these ones. Uh, the bees love them. It's still kind of early. Nala, don't eat that, Nala. Nala, Ben. Ben, mommy, right? So here, my blueberries, we've been eating now for weeks. They're, uh, they've been doing pretty good. I mean, we have plenty. And then here is my anon that completely died to the trunk and came back and we have, we have a surprise in here. We have one here and one over here. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Yeah. So there's my cat. They get in the morning walk so i did a lot of cleaning in the back i still have to do a lot of cleaning this is my potatoes remember that i plant with the uh, tomatoes they're still going strong so i'm just gonna let them be and this is my other uh, uh sugar apple that's another one i planted a while ago i did a video on it and it's it's liking it in there i got a criolla cocina pepper over there i don't know if you guys can see it uh, doing really good. We already got a few of the, <laughs> a few of the uh, peppers in there. Now, la, ven, vamos, vamos. Uh, and this is a, a mess that I have to take care of it today. I'm gonna clean all this bed so I can put it to a good use. Now, la, ven, vamos. So, here my mess, a little bit, potatoes and, um, I always tell people don't get overworked if I things are not looking the best, you know, one day at a time. You see, I transplant some of the tomatoes and I plant some over there. I don't know if you guys can see it right in the floor. And uh, that one's just uncutting from these ones. By the end, that they look good. And they will come back and give me more tomatoes. Uh, I learned that in. Uh, with a California garden. 
he's uh, very knowledgeable when it comes to tomatoes. This one has a little bit in there. I'm gonna take those and uh, eat it and hope for the best. You know, a little by a little, you do whatever you can. <laughs> you having fun? Come on, Allah, Ben. I know, that's a good night walk. A morning walk with a puppy. Um, I forgot to show you guys uh, my Jabori Kava. I literally uh, transplanted it yesterday too, to a bigger container. This is a red Jabori Kava, it's the one that fruit in like three years or so. But I give it a better container, it was kind of small. The one she had. Um, and this is it. I mean, uh, a lot of work in the process, always try to do something. It's just been a little hectic lately. I got these uh, watermelons, baby watermelons here that I want to give it to a friend. Uh, but look at that. Look at the watermelons in the floor. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me move it. There we go, he's flying there. Yeah, I see another one, big one over there. All right, yeah. So, this is my Christmas loquat, and uh, I think it's Juicy Peach. It's, uh, those ones do go here in Florida, and uh, I'm gonna, I transplanted it yesterday because I'm still debating what am i gonna plant it you know how that goes we gardeners got a lot of fruit trees and then we don't know where we're gonna put it i have a lot of um space in a, in a, in a sense but um the thing is like my backyard is really really floated when it rains a lot it hasn't been this year because it's been a huge drought we haven't had a lot of rain and uh so, might be a little, a little better as the old emotion. I did like a dick myself, like like a dick, like a ditch or something like that. Uh, and uh, it's been helping a little bit. Um, but I don't know. Like right there, I do. I put the mango, and uh, I don't know. I always find in places that it would be a good decision, not too bad, so. You got to do a fruit tree is an investment, so you don't wanna just rush it and then you regret the place that you planted it. And, and then like you see right now, I'm gonna have to dig all that and that's gonna be a pain. But sometimes that's what we do. This is another pepper that I plant from C. It's called uh, Rolled It, uh, sweet pepper. And uh, I have it right here, it's flowering, but uh, it's been so hot that not even the pepper is liking it. So, plant some little onions here and there. Might not be big balls, but we get something. And as always, do something every day and uh, keep on planting. God bless you. Have a great day.